Hello everyone. I'm back and struggling, but it's fine. We'll get there. Today, it's a very exciting day for me because I did No Shave November on my legs only. Let me specify, only on my legs. I wasn't able to shave for the second half of October and then I didn't shave all of November obviously and it's now December 9th. I just couldn't find the time to do this video and I don't know why but I was just really intrigued by intrigued. That's a big word. I was really interested in shaving my legs on camera because I'm a psycho. I'm finally able to do it and I have many things to share with you guys because I feel like it's been a minute since we've talked. So uh, let's get ready to rumble. Y'all ready for this? I don't really know how to shave if I'm being honest. I just kind of <laughs> scrape it off. I feel like it's self-explanatory. Like, do you really actually know how to shave or not? But today we'll be using the Up and Up Soothing Shave Gel. And then I have this wet washcloth here so I can wipe the shaving cream off. And then I have a razor. <laughs> And I have a towel so we can dry it. And then I haven't moisturized since literally the summer. So I have Almond Blossom. I think I'm just going to start off with a little... Yeah. Oh my god, it's so long. It's so long. Holy balls. I don't think I'm going to show you guys because it's embarrassing. This is definitely worse than like my dad's. For sure. Hands down. Also, I'd just like to address the fact that I wear this sweatshirt in every video. Is that normal? Oh, this is supposed to be a shave gel. It looks like a cream to me. I know I wear this sweatshirt a lot, but it's really comfy and I just really like it, okay? Which I don't know why I'm wearing this sweatshirt then because I don't want to get shaving cream all over it. Where did I put my razor? Where is it? Oh, found it. Also probably should put my hair up. I took this chair from my brother's room. It used to be mine, but then I got rid of it when I painted my walls. But then I just stole it from him again because I thought it was kind of fun and I kind of thought it brought the aesthetic of the video up. You know, a little pop of color with the green. Um, haven't been very active on this channel lately. Oh, I just got shaving cream on my phone. I haven't been very active on this channel recently because I've been really struggling. I'm not going to lie to you. This is disgusting. It's going to get clogged every two seconds. I'm kind of known for the fact that I never get sick. Because I never get sick, ever. I'm always just going strong, just kind of booing. I have gotten sick the past four days that I've been supposed to film. I have so many videos for December planned out because... Christmas is my favorite time of the year. If you didn't know, I start celebrating Christmas in October. Actually, this is why I haven't shaved my legs. I was supposed to film this video every time I got sick. Oh, I wanted to wear the sweatshirt tomorrow. Oh, maybe if I shave the top of my leg, I wouldn't like be ramming all the shaving cream on my sweatshirt while I'm trying to shave the bottom part of my leg. <laughs> that was smart. I'm very excited to be smooth. Because let me tell you, when you go to a dance competition and your legs are hairy through your tights, sometimes you get some judgment. I'm the worst shaver in history. I always have like splotches everywhere. I feel like I'm just rubbing shaving cream into my leg. I'm gonna go like wet this again. I would just like to say that I am aware of the fact that my room is super messy, but I try to keep it as real as possible on this channel. So I was not about to clean my room to film this video because who has time for that, okay? I'm a student, an athlete, and a failing YouTuber, but we don't talk about it. I don't know if this is related to like being sick, but I've been having the weirdest dreams lately. I feel like I should keep a dream diary or should I do like a dream like video log? I feel like that'd be a little personal. Did you know that every person that's in your dream you've like met or seen before? Because I was unaware but I've been reading this literally, well, <laughs> I don't read, but I've heard it from people who said they've read it on the internet. And I'm just assuming that they're telling me the truth and that they read it from a reliable source. In school, you know how they teach you to like, oh, like check for reliable sources? Who actually does that? Because I don't. So if people do and I don't, that's kind of embarrassing. But I feel like nobody actually does that. This is so gunked up. I, ugh. 
I need to invest in more expensive razors. I can't justify it because I never shave. Why would I buy a good razor if I'm not going to use it? You know, let me dry this leg off and then I think we're done shaving that leg. I need to fake tan. Do you see how white I am? It can, <coughs> oh my gosh. Ah, I literally look like a man. Like two, here we go. I've never faked tan before, which I think is kind of amazing because living in Wisconsin, you get so white and so tan. Like I feel like people who live in, oh, this is such a sad thought. People who live in Alaska never know what it's like to get tan because it's just always like not like that, right? Or am I just sounding like an uneducated swine right now? Do people in Alaska get tan? If you live in Alaska, do you know what being tan is? <laughs> That was stupid. Um, now I'm making you sound like an ignorant person. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Have you ever been tan if you're from Alaska? Like tan from being in Alaska, not from like traveling to different parts of the world. Tell me down below. <laughs> Comment. I think I should try fake tanning, but everybody, ugh. I feel like everybody, the first time they fake tan, it's like late years of middle school, early years of high school, and then it looks really bad, but it's okay because you're still in your awkward phase. Well, you know, let's not lie to myself. I'm out of my awkward phase, but I still look like I'm in it. I'm sorry. I'm not, I should not be apologizing to you because you should be apologizing to me. You should really feel bad for me about this. If I try to fake tan, it's just not going to go well. I can tell you already, but I, I need to do it. It's not healthy for me to be this pale. I look like I'm ill at all times, which recently I have been, but you know, I'm not supposed to be sick. This isn't a normal thing. We're not gonna get into it. And I'm shedding hair from my razor all over myself. Wonderful. Ow! Oh man, that felt like I just cut myself open. I literally don't remember what I was talking about. I would just like to address the fact that I, in fact, have self-diagnosed myself with a speech impediment. <laughs> My legs actually look like less dirty. Like when people say they haven't showered in a while and they look dirty, I've never actually thought that like anybody looked like literally straight dirty unless you've been like in a forest for three weeks doing a survival challenge. But like now that my legs aren't hairy, I, they actually look dirty. Like dirt was building up on them. <gasps> I did cut myself on bleeding, but it's just like super tiny. Literally there's so many chunks. Mm -hmm. There's so many areas of just like hairiness on my legs still, but it's so much better than before that I don't even care. I really don't care that much to be honest. Like it's winter, I wear pants every day. Actually, I wear the same pair of Lululemon leggings every single day to school, so... I made a new discovery about myself last night. I am really good at aux when it's chill music. If you want some hype bobs, do not come to me. Like, literally, I'm the last person you should resort to. La -la -la. If it's chill, and like, you're not trying to sing with the music, I got good stuff. Okay, I'm using... I'm not a beauty guru, what do you care? I'm super upset because I recently discovered that I love the Growlers. I talk about them all the time, almost as much as Emma Chamberlain and the Dolan Twins, but not quite as close. It's a close second. There is blood on my furniture. Why is there blood on my furniture? Where am I bleeding from? If you didn't know I'm from Wisconsin, they had like this new album called Orgasm of Death, I think, that came out. Was it over the summer? I think it came out over the summer. I had been listening to them for a while at this point, but I hadn't like religiously been listening to them. I'd just been listening to like some of their top hits. Now I'm religiously listening to them. The moral of this story was that I started listening to their new album and I was like, whoa, this is good. And then I was like, wait, if they come out with a new album, they're probably going on tour because that's what bands do when they come out with albums. And I check and they had been in Milwaukee and Chicago just a month earlier and neither concert sold out. And I was like, oh yeah, I could have gone. I haven't had my legs looking like this in a long time, and they're honestly really bad. Super hairy and splotchy still, but like a lot better than they were for sure. Thank you for watching my TED talk. Thumbs this video up if you are also a monkey. <gasps> so I was about to close this video out, but now I've decided not to because I just want to let you guys know, just this little like tip. If you decide to grow your leg hair out, do not wear leggings all the time because you know when your hair, when your actual hair stays in the same position for too long and then your roots hurt and you have to like move it around? That literally happened with my legs on Black Friday. And I literally had to take my pants off and like rub my hair around because it hurts so bad. Anyways, thank you so much for experiencing this with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give 
give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button to help me to help me out and help me get money because I'm very broke. I don't think I can keep that active any longer. So, um, yeah, kind of bad video. Don't really care because this is just kind of like what I like to do. So, if you don't like it, unsubscribe. Give it a thumbs down, honestly. Like, you gotta live your life. You gotta be real with people. Don't be fake. I sound like your mom when I tell you not to be fake. I'm not trying to be your mom. I'm just trying to have a good time. But I'll see y'all later. Mm -hmm.